<laughs> Hello, my name is Julius and this guy is Adam. We are two freelancing filmer, photographer and journalists. Uh, yes, and on or uh, or <laughs> and our climate resolution is to not travel by air in Europe for jobs. And this time we have a job in the west of France and we're going there now, so please tag along. Yes, so we decided to do this film job in the west of France, 2,150 kilometers away from home. And we also decided to go there in a climate-friendly way. We started our journey in Stockholm and traveled by train to the south of Denmark. From there we took the ferry 45 minutes over to the north of Germany. And on the ferry we had a chance to stretch our legs and eat my 3 liter phenomenal pasta salad that was delicious and that I did the night before. In the beginning I was pretty stressed out and I just wanted to get to our destination. But once my brain and my body understood that I would be traveling for 19 hours and I don't have much choice, you actually get relaxed and you're able to enjoy the shifting landscapes and your good company. Even though Adam slept most of the time. When we arrived in Germany, we had three transfers throughout 13 hours of traveling. During our travel, we met a lot of open-minded and nice people. I'm uh, Laura, I'm from Finland, uh, and I'm uh, taking the train to France. I'm Simon, I'm from Denmark, uh, and I'm also going to Strasbourg. <laughs> I'm Adam, I'm from Sweden. Well, the big advantage of the train is it's easier to get to talk to people, because um, like people are, you have a longer time for it, and uh, there's a possibility to meet a lot of people on the way. The trains themselves are very, very nice environment to also do some work. You get to see a lot of nice landscapes. My name is Beth or Elizabeth and my husband is Peter mm -hmm. and we're from Australia here on a holiday. We love travel. Planes are terrific for covering long distances like Australia to London but you don't see much and you don't get to talk to people and you can watch the different types of buildings in different countries and how they even how they vary in one country to the in the same country. What do you spend your time with on the train? Oh nothing. Uh, watching a film and uh, take my phone. Do that. What's the benefits of traveling by train? Uh, you can you can work in the train. Uh, it's not uh, the same in plane, and it's uh, more speed. It's more calm. Uh, I'm afraid in in plane. <laughs> what do you think about the trains? The, the trains, the train. Il y a des grèves. Comment on dit grève en anglais? Grève. Convenient. You can sleep in it. I actually just did it. <laughs> did you sleep well? Very well. <laughs> <laughs> but do you do you like the train? Uh, on n'a pas le choix. I can sleep in the train. Is it better than driving a car? Uh, every day, yes. When we arrived to Angers, we departed in the city center and could walk straight to the hotel without any airport transfer or rental cars. Yeah, we're here in Angers. You actually pronounce it en I think, but I'm not sure. Some of our best memories from this trip are we met uh, happy people, and we got to eat good food, of course. We, uh, we saw a lots of beautiful landscape shifting during our traveling. As filmers and photographers, you have a lot of hours in front of your computer, and you can really do good work at the train. And the best thing is that we could do all this without feeling as much guilt for increasing the global warming.
we understand that everyone can't really follow our example to not fly around whole Europe or the whole world. But at least we can challenge you to take the bus or the train instead of uh, uh, flying domestic. And now we want you to challenge someone else to do the same thing. Bye bye, thanks for us.